Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. In this video we're doing something rather different. Yes, we're actually flying a drone. We all witnessed the increase of importance of drones in modern aerial warfare. This became especially obvious during the recent conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Drones have a rather bad reputation, mostly because some people believe that due to physical detachment of drone operators, it is much easier for them to kill people making it look more like a computer game. Second thing is that drones have often been used uh, in rather controversial strikes and this one certainly falls into that category. The object of this strike was Iranian general Qasim Soleimani, often described as the second most powerful man in Iran. He was the head of the so-called Quds Force, a branch of Iranian Revolutionary Guard which specializes in covert operations abroad. The way that Iran spreads its influence through the region is mostly by supporting various militia groups in countries such as Yemen, Iraq, Syria or Lebanon. And Soleimani was the man behind that strategy. This inevitably put him on collision course with the United States of America and its own interests in the region. You all probably know that relations between America and Iran uh, have been rather bad ever since the Islamic Revolution of 1979, but during the administration of Donald Trump they managed to sink to a new bottom. Uh, what was the direct uh, motive for this airstrike? Uh, what made President Trump make the decision? It was previously uh, also considered by uh, other uh, administrations, uh, but they never actually decided to go through with it. According to the media, the final event, the trigger, which caused the decision was protest in front of American embassy in Baghdad, during which protesters tried to, st tried to storm the embassy. This in turn was uh, motivated by uh, American airstrikes against pro-Iranian militia in Iraq and Syria. That in turn was motivated by a rocket attack at a base in Iraq which caused death of one American. We could probably go way back like this, uh, but those three things are usually what the media considered to be events which led to the airstrike. Now it, w it was never officially disclosed where the drones came from. According to some media such as Al Jazeera, they claim their origin was Al Udayt air base in Qatar. Three drones supposedly took off at various times and then loitered over Iraq waiting for their target. Uh, General Soleimani had previously visited Syria where he spent a few days and then traveled between Damascus and Baghdad on a regular commercial line. This fact became known to American intelligence uh, and essentially it enabled the strike.
And that is essentially what the drone strike might have looked like. It was a complete success. Uh, Hellfire missiles hit both vehicles and killed 10 people on board. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to press the like button. That's very important for the channel. You can also follow us on Instagram. Feel free to comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and keep watching Showtime 112.